Oh, hello. My name is Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today I want to show you a little editing trick because this happens to me a lot and I think it's probably going to be helpful for you. Yeah. Before we get into that, I want to remind you that we have a brand new training, Resolve 17 end to end. This is a huge like masterclass on creating a project in DaVinci Resolve 17. It goes through the entire post-production workflow of making a short film. You can download all the footage and we start with organizing our media, doing a rough edit, and then we refine it from there, add effects, color correction, mixing, all the way to hitting that render button. I know you're gonna love it. Check it out, groundcontrol.film. So we have this edit going on, all right? We found the other entrance to the and it's just a little bit of uh, footage from a trip to the beach. And let's say for whatever reason, in the edit, we have some B-roll, that means video with no sound, over some sound with no video. So this is from one clip, GoPro 1303. So if we find that in the media pool, it's somewhere in this clip. And 1302 is this clip right here. Let's say we made this decision to put this B-roll over this different audio, but now we wanna go back and say, ah oh, man, actually, I want the audio from this clip. I think what we wanna do is move all this down and I want the video from this clip and maybe even the audio from this clip. Well, here's a quick way to bring that back. All you have to do is be over the clip with your playhead and then just hit F on the keyboard. You can think of F as short for frame. This is a technique called match frame. And now what this has done is a couple things. It found the clip in the media pool and it also set the in and the out for the clip to match up with the in and the out for this clip. And it's parked at the exact same frame as my playhead. What I can do is grab this video and drag this down and look. We found the other entrance to the cave. Isn't that awesome? Same thing works for the audio, to be over the clip and hit F. And if I grab this little waveform thingy, I can grab just the audio and throw that down there. And now our problem solved. Isn't that great? And now I can conveniently see that the reason I cut the audio out from this is because it's just a bunch of wind noise. But this one's good. We found the other entrance to the cave. That's what I'm talking about, efficiency. Anyway, this little tip has been a pretty big help for me over the years, and now you know it too. And now we both know things. Dude, check out this place. Like, went here the other day and explored these like caves. Look at this, went up on a dangerous cliff. It was so fun. What kind of cool places have you guys been? Why don't you tell me down in the comments, huh? Yeah. 